everybody on here. I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. I haven't made my coffee. Look at my hair. Look at my Judy. So this is how we start our day from the moment I get out of bed. Oh my God, how'd you like to wake up to this? Oh, I gotta open up all of my curtains. I'm still tying them back like this. There's my pretty solar. Isn't that pretty? Let's go over here. This one I just open up and hold it with a magnet. Like so. Can you see it? Don't know if you can see it. All I know is I don't want you to see my kitchen area. It's a mess. I got some dishes, dishes I got to do. But let's open this one up. Ooh, let the sun shine in. There we go. There. I made the bed. That's good enough, don't you think? <laughs> now it's time to let Miss Judy out. To do her business. Come on, girlfriend, wait. Good girl. Look at her poor frisbee. Yeah, she gets up on this bed like this every day. So I don't have to bend down quite as far. There we go. Flabby free. Alright, now it's time to go feed the chickens. So I keep my feed in my truck because it is the driest, safest place for it to stay. So here it is. I'll just get this down in there. Get me a little bit more. Now keep in mind, they free range too. So they get quite a lot of nutrition. Hold on. I just put this here to keep it from getting undone. And there we go. Let's go let these chickens out. Just got to unclamp here, unclamp over here, let that fall down. I grab onto this, and there we go. Oops, almost tripped. Okay, and I do this beforehand. See, they didn't even eat all their feed that I left out from last night. I'm just going to go around and put a little bit in each different bowl because they still haven't learned to eat nicely around one another. Oh, look at this. Yep, they've been up there pecking away at it. Here's another one. I should rinse that out. I'll probably do that later today after they eat. And I'm not putting the tops on them anymore just for right now just because um, I'm just feeding them like this. It seems to go better. Uh, eventually I'll get the lid back on that one but I have to wash it all up and whatnot. Let's see. Let's add some more over here. See they didn't even finish what I put out for them last night because just because they're getting so much nutrition Free ranging. Put a little bit more in here. Yep. Look at all those sprouts. All right. Whoops. Okay, let's let them out. Try not to make this bounce around so much. I found that it's easier to put the food out beforehand because I will get pecked to death if I don't. All right, beautiful chickens. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now watch this guy. He's he's like wanting to he was trying to come up to me and treat me like a chicken. He's antsy. He's ready to get out and get his day started. Oh my gosh, he's going to make a liar out of me. Usually he chases the girls around the yard. <laughs> yep. It's going to happen very soon. He's like, he could not wait to get out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, they just kind of eat it off the ground. That's fine. 
Okay, Romeo, let's see you do your little chasing the other chickens thing. Watch him not even do it now. He's been trying to mate with the leghorns. He has been, unsuccessfully. Poor guy. Look at you pretty chickens. Let's open up this back door here. Yes, indeed. And open up the window, give it a little bit more ventilation. And they love to just come sit right on this area and kind of nest for a little while. All right, let's clean up this. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Every day, this is what they do. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go dump this whole thing out, rinse it, find out what Judy's barking at, and replace their water. I gotta get their other water feeder too. Um, yeah, I just need to kind of wash it off a little bit, give them some more fresh water. So what am I gonna get done today? Well, first thing, I'm gonna have some coffee. Then I'm gonna brush my hair. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come out uh, and see if I can process some more wood, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can borrow Mr. Lucas' axe. And I need to gather some leaves. I need to put it down in the chicken yard outside. It's really weird because it doesn't smell on the inside of that van, but right outside when you step into the van where all that litter is and whatnot, it smells. So I need to kind of do something with that and give them some more leaves and some bedding and whatnot um, in the actual chicken yard. So maybe I'll get that done today. I don't know. I'm tired. I, get, I haven't been sleeping good at night. I don't know why. It's weird. Uh, probably because it has been warming up, and I don't sleep that great when it's warm. Anyhow, i got to get me some coffee. Yep, there he is, Romeo. King of the yard. He hasn't chased any of the girls this morning. <laughs> Ain't he handsome? I love him. Alright, let's see if he'll do it again. Throw him out a piece. He doesn't got it. He tells the girls where it's at. Let me try this again. I'm sharing my breakfast. Oops, I want to get one right in front of him. And let's see if he eats it first or if he gives it to the girls. All right, let's see here. Oh, the girls got it before him. It's not going to happen now. It need, he needs to be kind of like far away from the hens, and then he signals them. Let's see. Oh, those girls are too fast. Look, I'm sharing my breakfast with the chickens. Let's try this again, Romeo. Alright, he's picking it up, putting it down, and he lets one of the other girls have it. That is just the most sweetest thing ever. Look at, he kind of split it up and let them all have it. Oh, Romeo, see? Oh, he got a little bit of it this time. Whoop, one got it out of his mouth. All right. See, he picked it up, put it down. Oh, he's got it in his mouth. But he put some of it down and let one of the little girls get it. Oh, ho, 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 so cool. Okay, Romeo. Romeo. Yep. See, he just picked it up, put it down. Put it down, picked it up. One of the girls picked it up. Oh, he, he ate some of it. He didn't eat all of it, though. Romeo, you're such a good rooster. Let's try one more time. Let me at least get one little bite. <laughs> Not a good throw. Here. Ah, he let one of the other hens have it. Mm. You're a good rooster, Romeo. You're a good provider. Look. A chicken dishwasher. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry, I'll sanitize it. <laughs> as far as what else I got done today, well, I got the chicken yard kind of taken care of a little bit. I spread some of that uh, litter that was kind of smelling 
out there and spread some leaves around and whatnot. Gathered a bunch, a bunch of leaves. Um, I worked with the compost heap a little bit. I put a, a couple more buckets um, down into there and I, I dug a hole and whatnot and then put it in and I covered up and I put a bunch of leaves over the top of that. Uh, I went hunting for more pine cones and I found these other little things. They're like a little seed there. I'll show them to you some other time when I make some more fire starters. But I bet they'd burn pretty good and especially if I dipped them in a little bit of wax, I bet you they would be fantastic. And while I was out roaming around for things to burn, I found my Christmas tree. There it is. Yep, it's not very big, but I did go dig it up. Hopefully I got enough of the roots and I don't know if it has a tap root, but it had a bunch of long, long roots. So uh, I just dug it up and I put it in this bucket and I brought with it a lot of the soil that it was growing in and put it down in there too. Um, I looked this up on my PlantNet app and it says that it's a red juniper or a red cedar tree. Um, and I think out of all the choices, that the, that's probably what this is. I've got them growing, the, the big tall ones, um, all over my property here and there. And there's a ton of these little sproutlings coming up, so I don't even know if that's what it is. But it sure is going to look pretty with some little solar lights on them and some little decorations. Oh, and Mr. Lucas, actually, um, his daughter-in-law, uh, Selena, got this pumpkin and they said I could have it. So I'm going to cut it up, I'm going to cook the flesh, and I'm going to give the entrails to the chickens. Yep, that'll be for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I like my little tree. What do you think? I hope I didn't kill it. I hope it at least lives <laughs> until after Christmas. There are so many more out there that I could maybe dig up if I didn't do this one right, learn from my mistake, and do it better the next time. But I think it's pretty. If it grows up to an adult tree, it's going to be a nice tree. I think this video has gotten long enough. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.